The Walrus and the Caribou by Mayika Harper, illustrated by Marcus Cutler. This book is based on an Inuit traditional story. Versions of this story can be found across the Inuit North. The story you are about to read is a creative retelling of this original story. A long time ago, when the world was taking shape, a little woman began breathing life into the world. Her name was Guck. How does an animal take shape, she thought. Where does the head go? What goes on the head? Ears? Whiskers? A snout? First came the walrus, breathing in, breathing out. Guck created the walrus from her seal skin parka. Whiskers and wrinkles and funny dancing flippers. The walrus had huge antlers too. Every time it swam, it would overturn the kayaks in the water. The antlers were too big. The hunters were upset. Once again, Guck breathed in. She breathed out. Then she created the caribou from her sealskin pants. Big hooves and hair everywhere. A large snout and tusks too. Every time it saw a hunter, the caribou would charge him with its tusks, creating much trouble on the land. The tusks were too big. The hunters were, again, upset. What would happen if the walrus and the caribou traded different parts of their bodies, Guck thought. Guck called, Quigasek, Quigasek, come, come, to the walrus and the caribou. Pulling the tusks out of the caribou's mouth, she gave them to the walrus. Then she pulled the antlers from the walrus's head and gave them to the caribou. There. Remembering the trouble the caribou had caused, she called, Quig it, quig it, come, come. As punishment for hurting the hunters, she kicked its forehead flat and its eyes bulged. For being so rude, you will stay far away inland, she scolded. Ever since, whenever a caribou smells a human, it is afraid. If your intentions had the power of creation, what animal would you make? Would it have feathers? or a big furry tail? Imagine the possibilities. <laughs>